here today, I want to say to you that whatever you have today, whoever you are today, whatever result you've produced today is a secondary consequence of your habit. And if you maintain the same habit, there's a guarantee that you will maintain the same result that you are today. What does that mean? It simply means that whatever mindset that got you to where you are today will never get you to the next level. And I know that the people here in the audience know what I'm talking about. That anytime you want to move in life, you need to change how you think. And the truth is that if you want an entrepreneur, or you're starting up, or you're already doing it, or you're a leader, it's important for you to remember what I'm going to say to you today. You will either be rejected or you will be ignored. A lot of times when people are rejected, that's when they give up on the vision. When people are rejected, that's when they say that nobody loves them. When people are ignored, they think they're not good enough. Maybe that's who you were today. And we want to encourage you. The part of the journey is a habit, a new habit. It is the habit of having that dogged spirit, having that Ebola drive, having that spirit, the tenacity, that you will never give up on it. The only thing you gotta do is to keep changing how you're doing it, to keep changing the way you're doing it, to move and grow yourself. You will never rise above your growth. You've gotta chase growth like never before. Get a mentor, got a mentor, got a coach. It's gonna help you. The truth is that every time you go to the zoo, you will find the lion. The lion can kill a man, but man got a lion in a cage. How did that happen? Because man started the habit of a lion. Your habit can keep you in a cage. A cage can restrict your growth. A cage can make you not to move forward. What are the habits that you have that is stopping you from being a champion or succeeding? Could be your attitude. Could be that you are lazy. Could be that you never believe in yourself enough. Could be that you're blaming somebody. You're blaming where you were born, who gave birth to you, where you grew up, your environment. Let me tell you the truth. All the great people I've studied grew up in poverty, but they made a choice to make a difference. Your habit will get you to somewhere. But as I close today on Mind Clinic, I want to say to you that you will be rejected, you will be ignored, but you gotta choose either to move forward or you gotta choose to stay where you are. Whatever you think is not possible, somebody else is about to do it. And you're gonna tell them, that's my idea. I'll be back next time.